President George W. Bush and congressional Republicans left a distinct mark when they were in power for the first half of the decade. Domestically, they brought about significant tax cuts and a prescription drug benefit to Medicare. In the realm of foreign policy, the party largely embraced Bush's aggressive foreign policy push after the 9-11 attacks. For most of the decades, Republicans won votes in elections as the economy remains relatively stable and foreign policy excursions in Iraq and Afghanistan bred some success. Yet Bush's second term was exemplified by sobering policy failures. That includes the rising death toll in Iraq and Afghanistan, the ill-conceived response to Hurricane Katrina, and the full-scale disintegration of the economy. The Republican Congress didn't help matters when it experienced a number of embarrassing scandals. And so, Republicans went through a free fall over the past two election cycles, completely losing control of Congress and the presidency. With Democrats controlling the agenda, Republicans must ponder their future. They're in a tough spot. In Congress, Republicans don't have much power to enact any of their agenda. Democratic margins in Congress are so large they could probably successfully pass laws forcing all Illinois-born political reporters to wear pink prom dresses at all times. Who would want to do that? While they don't possess any discernible power on a federal level, Republicans do control a number of key governorships. This is probably why Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal was tapped to provide the response to Obama's message to Congress. The first-term chief executive continued the trend of attacking the stimulus plan as fiscally irresponsible. Jindal is one of a smattering of Republican governors contemplating rejecting stimulus money, a position that the GOP and the Missouri General Assembly seem to be philosophically emulating. That combination, however, is largely symbolic. If Republican governors reject stimulus money, funds will likely go to other states. And in Missouri, Governor Jay Nixon has much of the discretion over whether to accept or reject stimulus money. The biggest problem I see for Republicans is their seeming inability to react quickly to shifting events. This is the same party that nominated a presidential candidate with a large foreign policy focus for a general election season where the economy became the dominant issue. And John McCain's condemnation of bolstered government spending seemed to be a strange juxtaposition against a Republican Congress that introduced America to the bridge to nowhere and the aforementioned expansion of the Medicare program. The glimmering light at the end of the GOP's dark electoral tunnel might have been sown between the lines of Jindal's speech. That's where Jindal positioned alterations to ethics regulations and the implementation of school voucher programs as proactive action. Mitt Romney did much of the same thing when he was running for president last year, as did former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. Action seems to be a far more persuasive argument in these urgent times, and it may be key to Republican redemption. I'm Jason Rosenbaum.